It is Saturday. It's um, 8.30 a.m. and today we're flying the Luscombe from Richards Field in Miami, Florida up to uh, F-45 North Palm Beach for uh, some lunch. Uh, I'm going to fly over to Tamiami first and uh, meet a friend who's going to be flying a light support aircraft, uh, CTLS, and we're just going to kind of go up there together. Uh, the Luscombe is 1946 Silver 8A, 65 horsepower, A65 Continental engine, and two-place airplane. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll walk around a little bit and then we'll turn it off. Now we have to hand prop this airplane, so I will um, mount the camera inside the airplane. You'll be able to see the hand propping from the inside. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone here with me that can uh, photograph it from the outside. And I ain't going to do it. Uh, I ain't going to hand prop the airplane while holding this. All right, so uh, I just want to show you the doors are not original. They've been skinned on the bottom with uh, plexiglass in, in uh, place of the original uh, metal. That, that airplane over there has the original types of doors. That's another Luscombe. What's interesting is that this little field, there are three Luscombe, Silver, Luscombe 8s. So, so uh, that's kind of neat. All right, here's the inside. I want to show you the the panel. It's very, very basic. Uh, there's some glare. Uh, maybe I'll get a better view from the other side. Um, let me see if I can get rid of the glare. Now the glare is an issue. All right, well, anyway, we got a control stick, rudders, heel brakes, and the brakes on this are um, not very good. Uh, the right brake uh, right now is out of adjustment, so it's even worse. Um, I'm new to flying this airplane. I'm new to flying tailwheel airplanes. I just got my tailwheel endorsement a few days ago and since then I've, I've flown six hours. I'm trying to get uh, enough hours in and get my competence up. This has very uh, very good seat belts. I was told they're out of a military aircraft. Um, you can see the uh, the seat belts and the, and the shoulder harnesses. Very uh, very good seat belts. Okay, I'll uh, try the other side. I'll finish the walk around, then we'll see if we can get the panel from the other side. The sun might not be such an issue from that side. All right, tailwheel airplane across. This has a, a steerable tailwheel, and it's a locking tailwheel, which means it locks in place in the position it is now, uh, straight ahead. Um, but it doesn't take much to unlock it. It's basically, uh, I guess it's a fixture of that that fitting on top of the, um, where the wheel mounts to the spring, that when it's uh, lined up, uh, it, it pops into a detent of some sort and you can steer it. But if it's very easy to get it out. If you kick the rudder too hard or uh, anything like that, it'll come out of its um, detent and then it'll, it'll swing free. And when it's swinging free, the tail is very... Uh, easy to move around. When it's when it's in detent it's just a little bit harder to move the tail as far as you know the wind moving it. All right well this is a little better uh, glare wise. So you see it's very basic instrumentation. Uh, I'll just go from uh, left to right. We have a, a wind-up clock. I think it's an eight-day clock. Top, le top level is an airspeed indicator a turn coordinator. There's no bank function to it. It's basically just a ball. I think it's supposed to have a bank function that's broken. And then we got our, uh, on top in the middle of course, is a magnetic compass. We have our altimeter, vertical speed indicator. On the bottom we have our tack and the uh, combination oil pressure, oil temperature sensor. And that's all you got. Mixture throttle, carb heat, and then there's a, a pull thing to get some uh, heat into the airplane from the engine compartment, which obviously in Florida would keep that close. All right, well, that's basically it. This has been fitted with a battery-powered radio that does not uh, work all that well, but it's better than nothing. It's just a VHF radio. And on top of that, you see the uh, mags with, well, there's an intercom and then the uh, switch for the mags a timer, 
Um, there's no transponder in this airplane. There's no electrical system, no alternator, no generator, no starter, which means you have to hand prop it every time. What I do is, uh, for hand propping it by myself, is I have some chocks that I've uh, just made uh, the other day. Uh, just a quick and dirty thing, just some chocks with some ropes on them. I put them in front of the wheels, and after the engine started uh, and idled down, I untie the tail wheel and then come around and pull the chocks from the inside, get in the airplane and pull the chocks. So that's working real well for me. Usually, though, what I've been doing when I stop the airplane, say, to get fuel, is I'm at a... a, a somewhere where there are people around, people love to look at this airplane and they love to help you. So um, I just bring someone over to, I put just some chocks in it and then I just bring someone over to pull the chocks for me after I get in the airplane. All right, that's it.